name is Jacob Gazamaziati. Thank you for joining me here today. I'm here to talk to you about We One Picks Premium Membership, the only place that's gonna send you to the moon. Sign up at WeWantPicks.com. Become a premium member today. Do you wanna look like me? Do you wanna feel like me? I got on $900 costs trying to bring you the exclusive information to give you the upper hands on those cock-sucking books. If you want your wife's panties to hit the floor as soon as she walks through that door, premium content, only $10 a month. I'm telling you, $10 a month. That's $2.50 a week. If you can't afford that, you can't afford me, baby. Remember, if you're not with us, you're against us, and you'll be swimming with the fishies, baby. Previously on Lock of the Week. This Lock of the Week for USC Vegas 61 is quite simply going to be Brendan Allen. Uh, I feel like I know Allen well enough, and I'm probably going to jinx myself. I feel like I know Allen well enough to where he doesn't flatline people, and every time I've seen him hurt people, he instantly goes for the sub. Instantly goes for the sub. And he's my lock of the week, so if I'm not confident in my lock of the week, what the fuck am I doing, right? Let's get the swagger back, guys. Let's get the fucking swagger back. I have lock of the week for a reason, right? I said I wasn't super confident in it. Fuck it. I'm confident in it, and I'm showing it right here. Getting a little bit nervous. If I pass out, Jesse, if I pass out, can you please message Angelo? You guys could feel my heart right now. It's going. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> oh, go for an early armbar. Oh, oh, oh my God! What the? Oh my God! Yeah, Allen should have just used that to get back to his feet. Brennan Allen's a very good grappler. But he doesn't use his grappling very often. And he's never really in a top position very often. So I'm hoping that he can just kind of grind him out here. Look for opportunistic opportunities. There's a no takedown. He's in full mount now. He might get a submission here. If he gives up his back here, this is what we want. This is perfect for Allen. He's trying to hold on to that half guard position so he doesn't have to give up his back. But if Allen goes back into full mount, he's going to have to give up his back. And then that's where Allen's going to excel. He's looking for this head and arm. He's staying patient with it. We like this position. He's trying to slide back in. Good strikes. He's going to try and get the back here. He's got it in. 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 Fucking game. Look at the bets on the bottom of the screen. Who is the best in the fucking game? Who is the best in the fucking You all fucking got it. Lock of the week. Oh my god. Lock of the week. You lost two of them. Fade the lock of the week. Fade the lock of the week. Brennan Allen. First round submission win. Check the bottom of the screen for the bets. And then come over here and kiss my fucking ass. I'm about to fucking pass out. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to We Want Picks. My name is Jacob, a.k.a. The Freckle Salamander. Thank you for joining me here again today for another Lock of the Week video for UFC Vegas 62. Before we get started, go ahead and leave a like on the video and let me know who your Lock of the Week is for UFC Vegas 62 in the comments below. Leave your record if you know what your record is. We've been doing this for a long time now. If you guys are new to Lock of the Week, what that is is quite simply... Every single week I pick one underdog that I believe in my mind is going to win with 100% certainty. And we won 10 in a row. Had a little step back with underdogs on Cameron Van Camp. Came back last week with Brandon Allen. And this week is the Moss Importante week because this determines. Are we going to go back to square one? Or are we going to start another streak with two in a row for USC Vegas 62? So let's get right into it without further ado. The lock of the week for USC Vegas 62. So for USC Vegas 62, let's get right into it. Because if you know me, and you know where I'm headed, and you know my history, and my love for certain fighters, you knew. Once you saw this person on the card, and you saw that they were an underdog, you knew that they were going to be lock of the week. But let me explain, first of all. 
This is going to be a biased pick, just like Pat Sabatini. This is going to be a biased pick. So if you're tailing the lock of the week, you might want to listen to what I'm saying, but I still believe in my mind with 100% certainty that this person can win the fight, but they have one of the biggest red flags you can have in fighting. Let me explain. My lock of the week for UFC Vegas 62 is going to be none other than the absolute dog and the striking and maybe even the grappling in this matchup. Cub Swanson is the lock of the week for UFC Vegas 62. And let me say, again, this is biased. I love Cub. He's my all-time favorite fighter of all time, up in age. And the biggest red flag of them all is him coming down in weight from 145 to 135. I know a lot of questions are going to be like the press conference. What was with the press conference? He wasn't talking. Is he having a bad weight cut already? Listen, he's a professional. I don't think the weight cut is going to be an issue, meaning I don't think that he's going to have issues making the weight. It's going to suck. He's probably going to look like shit on Friday, but I think he's going to make the weight. But that is a huge red flag for this matchup. How is he going to react to the weight? Because Is he going to fight different because he's worried about his chin? He's never had chin issues in the past, but sometimes, especially these older guys, when they cut weight, now all of a sudden they have chin issues. But when I look at this fight from top to bottom, my strategy is always pick the better striker in a mostly striking matchup. And I'm not saying Cub is the better striker overall. But he is the better boxer, and his style of fighting is going to clash with Jonathan Martinez. They are going to butt heads, and I've mentioned already before, the biggest tail of this fight is going to be who controls the center of the outgun. Cub says he's going to come in, turn this into a war, get a first-round finish. That's how he needs to fight, because if he starts dancing around and tries to play this kickboxing match with Jonathan Martinez, those kicks are going to eat him alive. Leg kicks, body kicks, head kicks. He's going to get destroyed. He's going to get outpointed. But the good part about this fight is Jonathan Martinez is not a a, a super dangerous dude. A lot of decisions, right? And he's been knocked out on his own right against somebody he should not have been knocked out against. If Cub comes in and pushes the pressure like he says he's going to, he has the better boxing in this matchup. If he closes the distance and, and those kicks no longer matter because there's no range and Jonathan Martinez has his back against the fence, this dude's in big trouble, man. Cub is going to start teeing off on this guy in his hands, even though he's getting older. His last few fights, his hands have been looking fantastic. And if Jonathan Martinez decides he wants to start wrestling, Cub Swanson is very well-versed also in the grappling, jiu-jitsu, however, that wants to play out as well. I think this is a mostly striking match. I think Cub Swanson is a better boxer. He just needs to push the pace. If you want to if you want to watch my full breakdown of this fight, I had a video last night about the entire car, and I give the full breakdown of this fight. Angelo has his thoughts and opinions on his quick pick videos Sunday. So let me know in the comments below if you agree, if you would disagree with Cubs Swanson, Lock of the Week for UFC Vegas 62. Go ahead and comment below your Lock of the Week for UFC Vegas 62. Leave a like if you don't mind. Subscribe if you are new. We are looking to bounce back to a 2 Fight winning streak and get back on track to win 10, 15, 20 in a row. I'm very confident my dude Cubs Swanson is a little bit biased, so be a little bit careful on the tailing. But I got my money placed on him, and I can't wait for Saturday. We'll see you guys later. Thank you for joining me here again today. My name is Jacob, a.k.a. the Freckle Salamander. I'm out.